and welcome back to the channel guys today i am reviewing the selenko whiteout 305 and the selenko blackout 300 a little bit of a different format here i'm not going to be doing uh, just ground strokes and cross courts and volleys and, and overheads and serves i'm just going to be playing a couple of sets first set i'm playing with the selenko whiteout 305 and then in the second set i'll be playing with the blackout 300 and you may not be able to see it on video but Playing a tennis match with two different rackets that I'm not familiar with is a challenge in and of itself. But the purpose of this video is not for me to play my best tennis, but for my brain and my body to process the differences when I'm trying to play my game, but with a different racket and string. So I feel like this way, you know, being thrown into a match without, you know, warm ups or without getting used to the new equipments is a good way for me to provide you an unbiased review of these rackets. So I hope you like it. I hope you like this format. And if you do, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to support it. Uh, always appreciate a like and a comment in the section down below i'll be happy to answer all the questions that you may have for me and um, you can also follow me on instagram uh, direct message me there if you'd like to uh, set up a hit and now let's get to the review first of all this racket is called whiteout 305 and the 305 does not refer to the head size but the weight uh, which is different than most other rackets such as you know the Pro Staff 97, the V Core 97 or the Pure Aero 98. All these refer to the head size, but the 305 actually refers to the weight of the racket. So this racket weighs 305 grams unstrung, uh, which is about 10.7, 10.8 ounces, and uh, strung would be about 11.4 ounces or 323 grams. The balance is four points headlight, which makes it a racket that is closer to evenly balanced. Not too much weight in the handle and not too much weight in the hoop. As a result, this racket feels nice and easy to maneuver, both for serves and ground strokes. And the head size is 98 square inches, which is right in a standard for modern rackets. So let me tell you right away, I actually liked playing with this racket. Uh, this racket felt pretty good, very easy to play with. Um, and really checks pretty much all the boxes and keep in mind that I'm playing with a raw retail version with just the basic polyester strings and no added weight but if I wanted this racket to feel even better right away I would just throw in a leather grip and then string it with a better polyester or even a Selenko Confidential if you want to stay within the Selenko brand and then string it at your preferred tension so after playtesting this racket for a full set this is what I think about it. The Solinko 305 is basically a great all-court racket. It doesn't have any particular weaknesses, doesn't particularly excel at anything, but does everything pretty well. And that's why I would recommend it for a lot of people, because you can really develop your game and find your identity with it, just because it will support um, all aspects of your game, ground strokes and serves and volleys and returns. Once you pick up the racket, play around with different strings and tensions. Be mindful that as your game evolves, your preferred strings and tension combination may change as well. As you become more powerful and uh, develop a better technique, you, know, you may be able to switch to a polyester or a hybrid uh, setup just so that um, your uh, strings last a little bit longer and gives you a little bit more control. I believe that the string tension combination accounts for more than 50% of the overall performance of the racket. So you definitely have a lot of room to uh, tweak your equipment um, to suit your game before you need to buy a new racket. And so like I said earlier, to make this racket suit my game a little bit better, I would throw in a leather grip just to make it a little bit heavier and headlight and I would string it with uh, probably Solinko Confidential at around 50, 52 pounds and then go from there. And last but not least, the Solinko Whiteout 305 sells for $220 pre-tax which is cheaper than its main competitors. For example, the uh, Wilson Pro Staff sells for 280. Uh, the um, Pure Aero sells for about 260. I think the uh, Head Radical sells for about 260 as well. 
and most players would end up buying two or even three rackets so you're looking at potentially saving you know 60 to 90 dollars totals for the rackets and uh, with that money you could buy a lot of balls or even a new set of strings or even grips so if you're on a budget this is something that you may want to consider however because most players play with the same rackets for many years and the racket will have a pretty big impact on your overall performance and enjoyment on the court I would not hesitate to spend a little bit more money to get the rackets that really fits my game but uh, anyway this is a great racket don't hesitate to give it a try um, because I'm sure it will suit a lot of people's games well, that's pretty much all I have to say about the Solinko Whiteout 305. If you enjoyed this playtest and review, don't forget to support the channel by subscribing and liking this video. And we are now moving on to playtesting and reviewing the Solinko Blackout 300. Same strings, same tension, same day, different racket. The biggest difference I think is the weight. And combine that with a different balance point, this racket felt very very different. It didn't give me enough mass behind the ball, so I felt like I had to really throw my body into the ball to give it enough pace. Um, also the lightweight was not enough for stability, made it very very unstable, especially on returns. Different balance points also made it hard to hit the swing spot consistently. Um, now granted, I am playing this uh, with this racket right after I played with the other one. Um, so this is the set number two and you know my brain is trying to get used to uh, the Solinko whiteout and now I am giving it a different racket. So that also probably contributes to you know me uh, not being able to play very well with it. Um, so that could be kind of an unfair uh, comparison to the blackout but I think that this racket is more geared towards beginners um, and intermediate players uh, just because it's light, easy to maneuver um, and overall a good all-court racket. So that's really all that I have to say about it. Uh, it, it I don't think it really suits my game. I would definitely go with the whiteout uh, over the blackouts without any customizations. But if you're just getting started playing tennis, I would definitely give the uh, Solinko Blackout a shot just because it is nice and easy to use and uh, it will definitely help you develop uh, some uh, good sound technique. Alright, that's it for this one guys. I hope you enjoyed this playtest slash review of the Solinko Whiteout and Blackout. And in the next video, I'm going to be reviewing and playtesting a super popular racket um, that's making quite a big splash on the tennis scene. So don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, click on the notification so you don't miss that one. Um, but that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Have fun playing tennis and I will see you on the next one. No, oh, Miss